what's tactical about flip flops? Fucking nothing. But they're awesome and we all wear them. <laughs> Truly dangerous people, people who date, do dangerous things for a living, don't want to look as such. We don't want to raise people's attention. Hey! Cheers, bro. Yeah. Thanks for coming. I'd be flying into Jordan, Paris, wherever, on my way to war, and I wanted to be the guy in the crowd that no one thought was on his way to go do dangerous things to bad people. The weak point in any uh, water-resistant material is actually the zipper and the stitches around the zipper. There, there are other companies that try to do this to various degrees of success. Their pants cost $500. This is the same kind of zipper that we've put in a waterproof uh, dry suit. One of the problems with regular civilian clothes that are just for, you know, like being cool, uh, the material, the sewing, the cut, the pouches, the pockets, they're not tactically sound. These will take five 30 round AK-47 mags in here. So then on the other end, you have tactical clothing. Your companies that are designed specifically for tactics. And what they actually end up doing is making fake army clothes. And they look just like fake army clothes. And the material was shit, the stitching was shit, it was just garbage. What if we made commando clothes that were so aesthetically sound that you'd wear them skateboarding, snowboarding, surfing, hanging out with your kids, going to the club? I have a pair of pants that they made called the gunfighter pant that has a triangle cut in the groin with mesh uh, cordura that breathes and stretches, for example. I can show you some of the stitching. Listen, you know what, all we right. can talk about it all day long. Why don't you show us what you all right. You'll, you'll really like this, man. The pouches, you can put two AR 30 round mags there. This is similar to what we put in like a rigger's belt back when I was in the teams. Tacky material that sticks to your hip. Why is that important? Let's say you're not wearing a belt, but you've got a flashlight, you've got a radio, and you've got a Glock in your pants, it's not gonna ride low. It's not gonna hang out, you're not gonna start printing. If you have an MP5 SD or an AR pistol right here, you can come right out with your gun. Come on, man. There's a lot of people. But D30 material is unique. It's a closed cell foam that's very soft until the load is put on it. When the load is put on it, it gives you the firmness you need for support. What do you say to the cynics who are like, okay, you're saying great stuff, but this is just another apparel company that's already saturated tactical world? What do you say to those people? Here's the difference. <laughs> there are other companies that make great, great stuff. Ours costs half what theirs does. And there's a reason for it. The people who started this company have been doing it for 40 years in other uh, action sports, okay? So they know all the mistakes to make. Um, they've done all the research that was already paid for. The barrier to entry was small for them. They had the facilities, the, the sewers. They've learned all the mistakes over 40 years. And they came in to make a product of extreme quality that's affordable for every guy. Now, if they didn't want to just take your word for it, where do they go to learn more? Go to victos.com, uh, Google, go online, look at reviews, uh, talk to people who have first-hand experience with their product, uh, buy some, try it out, let me know what you think, man. Okay, my man. My man. Boom, thank you very Boom. much for that. All right, that's good. All right, thank you very Peace much, buddy. Here.